Okay, so we're looking at some organic chemistry questions. These are short answer questions from 2015. So let's get started. All right, so question one here is asking you to draw what's called the Lewis dot diagram for an atom of the element present in all organic compounds. Well, if you studied organic chemistry, you know you have to have carbon atoms in order to have an organic compound. All right, so you need a Lewis dot diagram. Lewis dot diagrams are real simple. The dots represent the outermost or valence electrons, and then the symbol, in this case the letter C, represents everything else. So you need the number of valence electrons, and you know how many dots. Well, if we go to the periodic table, apologize, we're flipping through some questions here. Carbon, here's the blow up of carbon anyway. We're looking for the atomic number. That means it's a total of six electrons, but really the dot diagram is all about the four valence electrons, right? Two are closest to the nucleus and then four are on the outside. So those are your dots. Those valence are outside electrons, so you're gonna draw four dots. In the past, as far as answer keys, it doesn't matter as long as you have all four, but typically you're gonna put the first two dots always together and then you're gonna go ahead and start putting dots on the sides. Whether you draw it like that or you draw maybe four dots if you can see them, you know, one on each side, you're fine, all right, but you got to show the four, and I saw, I, I apologize because they look just like squiggles. Okay, let's go on to number two. It says explain in terms of carbon-carbon bonds why a hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon means just carbons and hydrogens, represented in diagram B is saturated. Well, you need to know what saturated means. Saturated means all single carbon carbon bonds and those are your alkanes so why is uh, diagram B considered saturated and it's because you have all single bonds you probably could just say all single bonds but it's all single carbon carbon bonds for question two all right for question three it says explain why the molecules and diagrams A and B are isomers of each other well, if you know what the word isomer means, then you have the answer. You have the same number of carbons and hydrogens in A and B, but the arrangement is different, or there's different structure. So same number of carbons and hydrogens, but a different structure. So in questions one, two, and three here, really it was all about knowing definitions, knowing what element is in all organic compounds, carbon, and doing electron dot diagram from there. In question two, knowing what saturated means. And then in question three, what isomers mean. Okay, let's move on to four and five. For four and five here, we have two compound structures, A and B, once again. Instead of diagram A and B, we're calling them compound A and B. All right, so let's take a look. Once again, notice in question four, it says explain in terms of bonding why compound A is saturated. We already just saw that in the other group of questions. And what do we have? We have all single bonds. Okay, so that's what saturated is all about. All right, in question five, it says explain in terms of molecular structure why the chemical properties of compound A are different from compound B. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Compound A, you only have carbons and hydrogens. And in compound B, look, you got two oxygens also. You have what's known as a functional group. Compound B is actually an organic acid, and compound A is an alkane, so they're different right off the bat. But I think this is a pretty easy question. This would be easy even if you hadn't taken chemistry. Just look at the two compounds and say what's different. But in terms of molecular structure, again, compound B has two oxygens, on the molecule. Specifically, it's an acid, uh, organic acid is the functional group. If you really wanted to name the functional group, don't forget, let me flip here. We have reference table R, and you could play the matching game and find it here, that it's an organic acid. Okay, so the questions here, pretty much based on just some recognition of compounds and vocabulary. 
So check out more questions in the next video.